So we're on a new metal detecting adventure today. Today there's a troll train already. And uh, we're on the creek and we're going to be out here looking for any kind of treasure we might find. Uh, now uh, this spot that I'm at today, I, I used to detect here many years ago, but I haven't been here uh, for quite a while. And it's a beautiful day and there's a ton of people out here swimming, lots of kids and stuff. So you'll hear them in the background. Anyway. Today what we're looking for basically is like colonial era stuff like buttons, but also Civil War stuff. There's a lot of Civil War activity in this area. I've been detecting for just a few minutes and I've already found a couple of things. So I've decided to go ahead and make the video. Um, and hopefully we'll find, hopefully we'll find more, but I'm already on the board, so I'm happy. Kind of working my way up through these trees right here, uh, looking for fresh washouts uh, where the current has taken away all the silt and sand. And look at what I found already. Uh, I got one piece of junk, which is like an aluminum wire of some sort. I have a fishing lure. That's a little spinner bait. So, that, you know, these are good sounding targets. So I know this place hasn't been dug out. And I have one fired Civil War mini ball. So that definitely 100% puts this on the board. Until it's been fired, because you look at the front there, the top. I suspect that this was like double stacked when they fired it. They probably put another bullet on top of this one and then rammed it down hard because that looks like it's not uh, the right kind of mark for a ramrod. So I suspect it was another bullet like that with that kind of base. So yeah, it's a Civil War mini ball. Oh, by the way, although uh, most people think this, and actually I did for a while, stacking the balls like that, uh, you know, the bullets like that uh, wasn't dangerous. When they used to proof the rifles and the you know the muskets and the rifles in the uh, where they made them, they would actually keep keep loading as many bullets as they could into it until it would not fire anymore. Uh, so what they do? Put a load of powder in there, put two bullets, one, two, fire it. Put a load of powder in there, put three bullets, one, two, three, fire it, and keep doing that until either the gun blew up or it didn't fire anymore. And more often than not. This is by the era of the Civil War when things were 1860s when manufacturing was actually pretty good. I've read many accounts where they would just like have, have basically have the barrel full of bullets, fire it, and instead of the thing exploding, what would happen is all of the gases would come out the vent hole, you know, the nipple where the percussion cap would be on it, would have come out like a rocket. They said, you know, just make a lot of noise. Fire and flame would come out, but it wouldn't actually explode. So double loading bullets like that uh, was could very well have been done on purpose so they have two projectiles going out uh, and it wasn't really dangerous to the soldier all right i'll be digging all of the iron and the bigger iron and stuff that i hear because it was like i said there's a lot of camps in this area and actually a number of small battles this is a piece of iron i just found i think this is going to be like a leaf spring off of something but the reason i wanted to show it to you is because of what's on it <laughs> look at that that's a helgramite that's a type of aquatic insect and it has big old pinchers on it right there and uh, they will make you bleed if they pinch you uh, they don't have poison or anything like that but they'll make you bleed these when they hatch they'll, <clears throat> they hatch out until uh, something called a dobson fly so if you look up online dobson fly you can see what these things are all about in their life cycle very ugly but one of the best fishing baits that you'll ever find I'm gonna throw him in the water. We'll see if the fishy come gets it or if he makes it to the bottom. Ready? <laughs> Have to kind of throw him fast because the uh, he's just floating. He'll come. Uh, he'll come awake in a minute there. He'll just like, scoot off real quick. I've learned that if you don't like flick him a little bit, that they'll. Uh, stick to your fingers because they those those little legs that they have have like little stickers on them and uh, they'll reach around and bite you before you get them off your hand so you got to be fast with them <laughs> they get pretty big too well maybe this big so I've moved up river probably I don't know 500 yards or so tons of people down there now swimming <laughs> lots of kids and dogs and everybody just having a good time but uh, I've been finding a few things. I just got into something interesting I uh, I want to share with you. On my way up through there, I was just digging a lot of junk like this. Again, I'm going to be digging the big iron. I uh, can see this is a, that's enameled, I do believe. And it's got this stuff on the outside is from the uh, water here, which is high in uh, minerals. So it kind of forms on any objects, even like trees, we've got that stuff. And just a bunch of junk. This is kind of interesting. 
Well, I'm fine in this type of uh, tin or iron sheeting because it, uh, when it's black like that, I mean, it's been buried for a long time. And um, that's just, uh, I don't know, I just like finding that kind of stuff. It just, just oftentimes good things come not long after that. Although I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Let me show you the goodies. <laughs> they don't fall over. <laughs> Gold ring. All right, here's what we have for the goodies. Um, here is a giant bolt, or not rather. This was used by someone for a weight. You can see it's got a piece of wire on it. That's one of the reasons we find so many of these things in the river, is people use them for fishing weights or trot line weights, weights for traps, so that when muskrats get in, they go out in the water and drown. This is probably not quite heavy. Well, that would drown a muskrat, but maybe not a raccoon. This is kind of, I'm gonna save this because that is where I'm at right now. Uh, but basically I've just been finding uh, fishing lures and I did get a coin I think it's a, a memorial scent but I'm not a hundred percent in this area over the years especially down there where the people are swimming uh, you just find a lot of uh, wheat pennies I mean tons of wheat pennies. so many wheat pennies I quit digging there that's one of the reasons I quit coming back but I'm glad I came back today because of what I'm starting to find this is a tinned can not necessarily a tin can, but a tin can. And there appears to be more in here, but I just wanted to show you why it kind of excites me a little bit. It's kind of up under the bank. Now, this is not in good shape, but if you notice on the top here, it's got that round circular area, and that's where that lead, that lead, <laughs> troll trains. Oh, you can't even see probably can you maybe that's better that's where that lead solder is applied that you see me find in the rivers a lot it'll be just like a little circle of nothing but lead solder there won't be any can left to it because the can's rotted away anyway i just found these this is a tinned can uh could be civil war era for sure could be a little bit later but probably not too much later so what we're going to do this could be a dumping area right here back in the day um there were definitely a lot of civil war camps in this area but i just wanted to give you an update as to what we're getting into and hopefully we'll start to get into a lot of stuff soon i, I like how the banks kind of cut in like that you see the you know some of the more recent floods have cut it in and there's bricks and stuff laying there so we might be getting close to something i'll let you know nice high squeaker back in here it's kind of in the low pressure area from this i don't know why that stuff mounted up but i thought we'd go ahead and dig it together it's a fairly good size and very loud and you never know what it could be if this is a civil war dumping area it's probably a, a modern can or something now it's hard to do with one hand i haven't moved it yet hey. that's it <laughs> Oh, it's kind of interesting. It was underneath those rocks. <gasps> what is this? It's too heavy. It's iron. I believe that's going to be a big old chunk of iron, but I'm not 100%. Could be a sabot to an artillery shell. No, big old chunk of iron. Uh, yeah, so that's a big, uh, again, another type of nut. Different, slightly different kind. Big, heavy old thing. Give me that kind of good squeaker because of the shape and the density of that iron. But, all right, I dig those signals all day long here. Hopefully we'll get some 92 soon, some nice big old silver signals. <laughs> Just a little ways from where I found those uh, two cans. And um, I saw a bottle there, we're gonna go look at that, but I got a little bit of a squeaker down there in that clay. So I just went ahead and dug it real quick and guess what? That's a uh, drop Civil War mini ball right there. You believe me? See that black right there and that means that it was uh, when it was dropped it had the gunpowder still attached to it in the paper cartridge that's the gunpowder that well, that's a really good sign so this may be uh, like i said there was probably a camp up there and this might be where they were dumping their trash and their cans and their bayonets and their old canteens and their gold coins and their bullets hmm. it's kind of interesting look at the top of it. it's got like little marks across it we'll have to I don't know if those are little tooth marks from like some type of little critter or uh, something the soldier did. But yeah, that's a really good sign. Let's go and check that hole together. Hopefully you don't forget that bottle. I don't think that bottle's that old, but... 
and a little bit of a squeaky stuff in there let's go ahead and ground balance it since we're on a that's like solid clay there so it's probably a lot different than out here where i just was so basically oh there's a crawdad look at old crawdad there oh he went up in the bank never mind um so yeah so we'll take our time going through here taking any little squeak we hear i hear lots of iron little pieces of iron but that's a big piece of iron we're going to have to dig it's a little bit of a squeak there i'll move some of that dirt i don't that could be something made i don't know I'll, probably, I'll get into all metal and check some of these out let's go ahead and look at this together and then i'm going to it's got a screw top i can already tell so that is a uh, probably looks is that a chloric photo not sure i'm gonna go ahead and dig around a little bit when i get a uh, uh a decent signal we'll get you back out so this is a, a neat artifact and, and kind of consistent with finding those cans like that but this is a piece of leather that has a rivet or something to it. Don't know if that's Civil War era or not, but it's a nice little find. It was very shallow right in the, these little rocks right here. A lot of signals in here. Oh yeah, I saw this thing. I don't know what that is. That is, I don't know what that is. It's, it's iron. Looks like this might be a little uh, door or something for something. That white stuff that's all over it again, that's just the minerals in the water that are precipitating out um interesting Oy. that wasn't a good squeaker but i wanted to show you the target that is a stamped fork uh you know kind of junky i only read about 42 so i knew it wasn't anything real good but i just want to share that to you just for the heck of it it was down about i don't know about three or four inches i just found this interesting uh rock it I, I think it might be like slate for a roof or something it looks almost like it's formed like it's been like beveled all on those two sides and maybe the front i don't see any holes in it for that though i'm not sure what that is. i might save that and uh, we'll get it cleaned up just dug a bullet um i think it's a copper jacketed one so that's gonna make, mean that it's modern yeah definitely copper jacketed so i haven't been finding a whole lot just uh you know i've got a couple of uh, fishing sinkers but i have a really high squeaker right underneath that log it's not too big so it's probably not a can Right there. I'm gonna, I'll put you under. I'm going to fan it and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Well, I can see it and I don't think that's going to be um, very treasureful. No, indeed. That is actually barbed wire, which should not have sounded really good like that. Go ahead and run this machine with a hole again. That sounded like it was really good, whatever it was. Uh -huh. Okay, so I can hear more iron right there, so it's probably more barbed wire. But it sounds like there's something small that's out of the hole right there, and it's reading like in the mid 80s on the surface. Boy, that was horrible. That is a piece of melted aluminum. And melted aluminum, when it's thick like that, see, I can't even bend that. It gives off a really good high signal. That was probably not down very deep, but with the pinpointer, I couldn't tell that we already dug it up. Uh, and I kept putting the pinpointer down. I'm hearing, I was hearing the fence wire because the pinpointer doesn't know the difference between iron and uh, non iron. So we just kept digging, 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 and we could have probably quit about 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago keep moving this is kind of an interesting area here you can see there's i think those are tree stumps so the bank is probably moved and i can see some bricks and stuff out there it looks like maybe a brick might be a rock but we'll work our way up through here so did you guys see it when i panned over the tree stumps <laughs> i didn't but there's actually a bicycle right there 
that's the forks for the uh, front wheel and the handlebars and pieces right there so yeah that's not too good all right we'll keep moving i got a great big iron signal i'm like oh a musket or something but nah it's a schwinn i have my first piece of brass which is nice that's old brass uh, i reckon it's probably like a rains guide or something that might be broken right there but yeah, that's a big old heavy piece of brass. Uh, so I'm starting to get into a lot of junk, but we're getting into, uh, close to a road to start to hear vehicles, which is unfortunate, but uh, there's something big and round here. I'm wondering if it's a uh, wheel to like a wagon. <laughs> she's not anything. Isn't that weird? Oh yeah, okay, here we go. That is, uh, I don't know. It looks like a giant bolt of some sort. Got like a nut on the end do not so i probably went to a bridge or something but i have no idea what that goes to we're getting into an area now where we might actually start to get into stuff people have thrown away that might be good like old guns and stuff but i'd rather <laughs> the old train I'd rather find some civil war bullets detecting along i've gone probably half a mile from where uh, i last talked to you uh, there's actually a road on the other side of the creek that parallels this with lots of let me just show you there's lots of like fishing places and places where people swim in fact someone just pulled in right there uh, but apparently uh, people used to stay on that bank and shoot over to this bank <laughs> shoot over to this bank with uh pistols and stuff because i'm finding a lot of uh, fired pistol bullets like that i mean there's tons of them over here it's very annoying and a few sinkers just getting ready to turn around and go back but i found a mini ball it was uh hit pretty close too so they were probably standing on that bank shooting over this way so we'll keep going along here see if we can find a few more maybe a cannonball or something else so let's put them in there with the rest well things are starting to get a little bit interesting i found a kind of a cool civil war artifact that just looking at it you're gonna say yeah that's great chig but i know what it is and the potential that it uh it brings to this hunt this is a cool little artifact that i just found it almost looks like i broke it right there but i i went over the hole a couple times i didn't find any other pieces of it do you know what it is well, i'm gonna tell you right now that is part of a civil war epaulette now, an epaulette is something that would be on one of the you know like dress uniforms that they had that would be like a shoulder guard they also call them shoulder guards that's 100 percent a piece of the epaulette they're actually uh, pretty big there's a lot more that goes to it and this is where a little um, thing sticks up through that you turn so that it fastens it to your uniform and that's not too far from it just a few feet and this could very well be a civil war era ration can so that's a good sign but the reason i got you out and the reason i didn't get you out earlier is because i was charging the battery i got a big old iron signal down here and i don't think it's an artillery shell but the thing is huge uh it reads much higher on the meter artillery shells on the meter usually read like 45 50 or something like that oh this this is solid and um and it reads really but much higher but it is iron because the magnet sticking to it i thought we'd try to recover it together it's probably a piece of a car or something but boy i tell you Looking at it from here, I have no idea. <laughs> Turn around, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna put you under, see if you can tell me what it is. no idea i'm gonna let it clear out a little bit and i'll put you back under but boy i tell you there's a lot of people down here on the river if you look down there it's like packed full of people and they're all moving this way it's really kind of spooky they weren't making a lot of noise and playing with dogs i think they were zombies all right let's see if we can see anything yet it's still kind of um oh yeah i have no idea And this thing is just really freaking weird if i was down uh you know where they had the you know civil war gunboats and the big cannons i would think this is a like 100 pound shell i mean it could be just a propane tank i don't know but let's go back and see if we can pry it up All 
card. I got it out and I have no idea what it is. Probably a piece of card. It's not solid. Boy, what the heck is that thing? Um, I don't know. I, I the part I could feel and see was that, so it really felt like it was could have been a, some type of shell, but it isn't. It's a giant headlight for an old car, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. We'll throw it in the boat, but we're gonna keep looking because that piece of the epaulette came from right in here. <laughs> the spider. Um, I haven't been um, getting you out too much because I haven't been finding a lot of good stuff. It's mostly just junk. What I do is go ahead and show you a little bit of you know few ty types of stuff I'm finding. This is a uh, broken uh, window weight that would uh, be something that the old house is used as a counterweight to open big windows or um, things like that. And I did find a couple things that were not iron. Not sure what this thing is, but I don't think it's that old. Some of you guys might know what it is. And I dug this, which I think this is probably off of some type of uh, farm equipment, you know, horse-drawn farm equipment. It's brass, it's not uh, iron. So it gave a really good signal. I don't, re I, I kind of recognize it. I imagine that some type of wooden shaft went down in there that was tapered. And that kept it from splitting but i'm not exactly sure ex what that goes to but uh yeah i just wanted to show you that and i'm uh, finding lots of junk like that too well it looks like i have a little coin right there a little silver coin if i had to guess i'm gonna say it's probably gonna be like a roosevelt dime it's pretty thin doesn't it all right what do you say you ready to pick it up <laughs> yep so that's a mercury dime 100 percent uh silver coin that's a nice little find right there. We've got a coin, we've got some bullets, we've got uh, pieces of uniform. Yeah, this is pretty decent, man. This, is, uh, this has been a nut, this has been a good day. Nothing like totally amazing, but um, at any moment we could find that totally amazing thing. All right, next to where I found that uh, mercury dime, I'm getting another really good signal too. I found that dime right there, but just down from it a little bit is another really good squeaker. So there might have been two coins in that hole. Let's go ahead and just pick it up. All right, I got it out of the hole and it's just a, uh, it's a wheat penny. So Memorial sent in a wheat penny in the same hole. Another signal that was just up from those coins is another coin, which is probably gonna be a nickel, but I'm not 100%. Maybe that's a uh, V nickel. Probably is, it's really kind of cruddy. I suspect, I suspect that's gonna be a V nickel. Not 100% on it, but we'll look at it a little bit later. So I haven't been digging anything amazing. I've been kind of moving along pretty quick trying to get out of some of that junk, but just dug a weird coin looking thing. And um, I don't know if that's gonna be like something modern or if that's like a hard times token or what. I cannot make that out at all. Nothing that I recognize. I have no idea what that is. I did dig a uh, kind of a modern penny not too far from here, but I think that's a little bit older. This could be some type of token, I guess. I'll get you a good picture of it. Maybe we can figure that out. Looks like an owl or something. <laughs> ah, maybe it is an owl. I'm gonna put it away. Uh, I'll check, make sure there's not any more. Then we're gonna continue on up the creek to about the bend there. And then we'll probably head back. That's where I found that token and out here just about where my knee is. Got another signal and dug this and it's some type of that's lead but i don't know i had no idea what that's all about kind of thick it's got a hole through the middle of it not sure but i'm getting other squeakers right there which may be more of those copper type coins i thought we'd go ahead and check it out together there's one right there and one right there and maybe another one there i'm not sure but let's go ahead and just uh see if we can figure this out together i'm on bedrock so, you know what i'm gonna use my uh, hand without the gloves so i can actually feel i can usually feel the object you know i won't like do some super digging or anything no, that's a wire there that's a piece of wire that's what the pin port is going off on but that's not what we're hearing. I'm gonna take the back. I see if I was not filming this, I would already had it out. 
Well, it's a little bit further ahead up here, but again, with the pin pointer, you're gonna hear the iron too. So, I'll tell you what, I think, yeah, that's a bunch of wire in there too. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig that up, and then I'll show you, show you what it is, and if it's something really good, then we'll dig the next one together. That's probably what I was hearing. This is a little uh, pistol cartridge. Ah, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get that with a pin pointer and check and see if there's what else might be here, but I'm gonna put you away because that wasn't too exciting. Still haven't found that uh, pistol cartridge. There's a lot of like uh, little sinkers and stuff in there, but I just found another coin. Ah, token. Probably like a Chuck E. Cheese or something. <laughs> something slightly pornographic. <laughs> yeah, slightly pornographic. The front, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, censor that a little bit for the for the children's out there, but there's a woman on the front with a bear. Rusted, so <laughs> I don't guess they're hard time tokens. Well, maybe they are, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's see what else we can find. Up through here, there's this shale and this really hard bedrock, so it's pretty easy digging, except that the coins get down in the crack, so it takes a little while to get them out of there, but at least we're not digging up too much junk. I'm about uh, 30 40 feet above where we were finding those tokens, I think there's more there. I just found another, I guess it's probably going to be a token of some sort. Uh, so I'm working my way up through here. Nice solid bedrock. Not too hard to find this stuff. It's nice that whoever was uh, fishing here or enjoying their day was uh, nice enough to put the trash up there in the tree. You just tied it on the tree branch. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't just take it with them, but they tied it on a tree branch. All right, guys. It's probably been um, two hours since I've last talked to you, and I've been just digging around, finding a few things. Nothing really great. This is mostly just like the junk stuff that you've seen a lot of this you know all these cans uh modern bullets got a brake pad and uh just lots of stuff like that these this is a lead from a battery a couple terminals and stuff like that nothing really great there but over here we did pretty good we have a bunch of coins uh, some of them are tokens uh, most of those are wheat pennies. Is I think one or two memorials in there. We actually got some Civil War bullets too. So I think we did really good, uh, especially in this spot. Now I did actually see uh, some dig holes a little further up, and that might be why this piece here that I found. Remember, this is the epaulet. Looks like it's got a fairly fresh break in it. So I'm thinking maybe someone else dug uh, the rest of it before I did and they broke this piece off and didn't uh, check the hole that's the only thing i can figure so i hope you enjoyed that hunt it was a fun time i really enjoyed it 90 some degrees today so it was nice to be out in the river we'll see you on the next one i hope or deep in her creek mother earth she ain't saying exactly what she's saving where it is or what it might be mother earth you are my lady my big round baby i'll rock you until i go to sleep she don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in these coins from your pocket take your gold chain and your locket mother earth has no sympathy she'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady My big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep She don't care